Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to give you a very very quick introduction uh, for Ansible and how you can use Ansible to manage your resources in a cloud environment. If you have some Ansible background, it's you might be interested in, in learning how to do this. Uh, so let's just get started. So I really didn't want to make this uh, as Ansible introduction type of video, so just read up or wait for a better video that I'll have a plan to do some Ansible courses. So wait for that. But pretty much you will have Ansible in a master node and you will be able to manage other machines. There could be hundreds and thousands. You can still be able to manage from here. It's agentless and pretty much you run SSH commands. It will go and it will take some actions. Okay, and you'll be able to manage it. And there are lots of benefits. So do some reading on it. Now, how do you use Ansible? So Ansible is already available in your CLI environment. So if you come over here, I'm already logged in. Okay. So let me close this one to just to show you how to do that. So say you logged into your uh, environment and uh, the way you go to the cloud shell is by clicking that tiny little icon, icon over here. And there's a parcel environment and as you see like environment, just make sure that you are in the bash environment. So if you are on parcel, just click this drop down and come come to bash. And the first thing you don't need to do any kind of installation configuration you, if you're using the bash, this CLI because Ansible is already available. So if you type Ansible, see, it's all the options they're saying that they're available. It's the the command it says yeah I didn't provide any arguments yeah that's fine but I just want to make sure if this command is available to me and it is so what uh, Azure suggests that if you want once you are using from uh, in the Azure CLI Ansible authenticate with Azure to manage infrastructure without any additional configuration so you really don't need to do anything else uh, if you have multiple subscriptions in your uh, configuration, you can use the Azure subscription ID and, and say this is the ID that I'm going to use in my environment. I have only one, so I don't even uh, need to do this. Okay, But if you have multiple and if you want to target a particular subscription ID, you would be doing this. Okay, So now ne ne next thing is just to test whether uh, we can run some Ansible commands and very simply let's create a resource group and if you look at this and if you're familiar with uh, Ansible uh, commands Ansible templates it's a pretty much YML uh, template and here uh, this is host it's a local host we really we're not creating any virtual machine anything like that so it's local connection uh, this is telling uh, here is uh, we are in the Azure CLI environment and the task is where you are going to do some task. Uh, create a resource group and uh, Azure resource manager resource group. Okay, this is the thing that you're going to create and how we're going to create this one. We're going to name it as Ansible RG as Ansible resource group and we're going to specify a location to this resource group and it's going to be in the East US. We're going to register the RG and the debug variable RG. Okay, so that's what is going to be our quick little uh, YAML or YML document that we're going to deploy. So come over here, uh, do code. Uh, I'm going to do ansible test dot YML, and it's going to give you a code environment. So I'm going to paste the code that I have in here I'll do control s to save so this should be saved now I can close this code window like to I close too much so let's just reopen this one and uh, what I'm gonna do ansible dash playbook and ansible test yml so that's the yml file that we want to run and to execute this one this is the command that you you gotta use ansible playbook and that's as simple as that and just to validate if i go back to the resource group okay before i run the command uh is there a resource group ansible rg test there's already a resource group by that name that i was testing before so let's change this one so let's come back over here go to your code and uh 
I just want to verify. So this one, Ansible RJ retest. So that's the name of our resource group that I'm going to create uh, once I run this command, right? And if you look at over here, I don't have Ansible RJ retest resource group in here. So come back down over here. Uh, then again Ansible dash playbook and we're gonna do Ansible test YML I'm gonna hit enter and you could read the output okay and uh, the way there it's like a, a play the playbook that I'm running and uh, playbook has multiple tasks okay so the play first it gathering fact okay localhost so where it needs to do the work and then create resource group is the task okay so here rg change true is reading all of that and it's telling provisioning state is succeeded so it's successful so again there is a recap okay three changed one there is none none of the uh, plays that failed skip none rescued zero ignored zero. everything looks pretty good so what i expect if i come back over here and refresh there should be an Ansible RG retest resource group created by now. So let's refresh and look at that. There is my resource group. So we have just used uh, Ansible playbook, a very, very simple one to create and make sure, and the test our environment, make sure that our Ansible is really working. All right, next thing we're gonna do is a little bit more challenging. We're just gonna deploy a virtual machine with Ansible playbook okay so let's look at the playbook that I'm gonna use so over here so here we're gonna name the playbook as create Azure VM and again we're gonna keep it to local host and local and here this time we have several different tasks okay and the first task is to create a resource group we're gonna create another new resource group Ansible test RGVM in the same uh, East US location since your virtual machine would need uh, a virtual network we're going to create that one okay and we're going to provide the virtual network name address prefix then we're going to add some subnet and as you are in subnet we're going to put the subnet in the same resource group we're going to call it my subnet and here the address prefix is going to be slash 24 cidr okay then your virtual uh, your VM we're gonna give it a public IP address so we can connect to the virtual machine and in this one uh, resource group is the same uh, allocation is gonna be a static IP IP address and we're gonna name that IP address resource as my public IP and then register output IP address so when you run this uh, playbook you should be able to see what is the IP address that got assigned to the virtual machine next uh, dump public IP from VM which will be created and then you are debugging so this debug is gonna give you the output address okay so you will you will be able to read this from the output output like here danceable output you'll be able to read it the IP address next we're gonna create a network security group and allow SSH uh, because SSH is needed and SSH is we are gonna allow port TCP port 22 allow and we're gonna create and assign the priority 1001 it's gonna be an in, inbound type uh, NSG next we're gonna create a NIC network interface card and again we're gonna put it in the same resource group name it put it in that virtual network we created earlier and within the subnet we created and uh, associate with the public IP address and with the network security group Finally, once we have everything, we're going to create the virtual machine. For the virtual machine, we're going to use a standard DS1 v2 uh, tier. And this is going to be my Azure uh, username. This is going to be the password. And I'm enabling the SSH password enabled. Yes. So you don't need SSH key if you want. You can also configure that way. And for this particular lab, we're going to use CentOS. Uh, publisher open logic SKU 7.5 person latest now this script I have used from the quick start guide by Microsoft so I'll give you these two link this one and if you come down over here you can click there and there 
they also have some more uh, explanation what it is going on so you can read some more um, and I'll give you my script as well it's a little bit modified than what they have over there so now how to run the script so again we're gonna come back over here and uh, we're gonna say code uh, unsable VM template and I'm gonna put YML okay then it's again giving me a blank file I'm gonna copy what I have here and I'm gonna paste it over here and say control s and that's saved I'm gonna close this uh oh again I close too much so let's bring up bring it back one once more again I'm gonna type ansible uh, playbook and ansible then VM template that YML so that's all you need to do you need to run and what I would expect to have a virtual machine up and running as soon as this script is done so hit enter oh, oh, where did you go from here hit enter yeah so it should be uh -oh, so there is uh, some problem and just look at uh, the problem if you have so here uh, it says that the rep is to be a tab character at the start of the line so let's go back and and if you're using Ansible uh, you know that there's sometimes there could be some problems so actually we'll come back over here and we'll open up the code again Ansible uh, VM so it's telling us that we have extra space in our code so we'll go and if you look at it there's the extra space so I'm gonna hit backspace and that should take care of the extra space I'm gonna save it one more time so come back down here and uh, let's see uh, and we're gonna run the command again so code Ansible playbook so since now we have fixed it now look at that it's now started uh, deploying now it's first task gathering facts it's went well creating now Azure resource group to hold the virtual machine that's going well then it's creating the virtual network it's going well now it's adding the subnet going well and now next thing it did the created the public address and since we have the debug statement it said hey by the way your public IP address is 552.179.98.2207 let's copy this one then create network security group that allows SSH that's going on well and it, then it's creating a virtual network interface card to be used with the virtual machine and while this is going on I'm gonna save this somewhere just to verify that that IP address is the correct once I have the machine available to us okay so that one uh, went well as well uh, here uh, there is some deprecation warning so you can update your code uh, time to time they will change some of the code within Ansible they will say okay this is gonna be deprecated use some newer version you can you can try that out uh, on your own and the last thing once we have the virtual network card uh, uh, available to us last thing is going on is to create the virtual machine so here uh, let's go back and see uh, what is going on so we expect to see uh, a, a new resource group okay so let's just uh, refresh this one and this is the resource group that we are we have created in this particular playbook ansible test resource group slash vm so in this one bunch of things already got created so if i refresh this one uh, do I see anything yeah so I got the uh, virtual network public IP address network interface card security group and as as it said that the VM deployment is still going on and that's the reason we don't see the VM yet where did it go okay I'm gonna just hit enter a couple times I hope I didn't pause that the deployment so I'll just we'll just keep looking over here a little bit more and uh, refresh it see what we have yeah there's the VM so it looks like our deployment is successful although uh, yeah there we go here 
is our output okay so we for some reason we lost the output for for some reason it was not refreshing properly so last we looked at this created create vm and uh, here is the play recap that is important again uh, nine of the tasks the, everything is okay change seven of them and there's none failed so it just telling me that i should have the vm now available to us so as i said the vm over here if i click on this vm i better have the ip address that should match with the ip address that we copied 52.179.98.207 and look at that 58 52.179.98.207 finally before i end this lab okay i want to i want to uh, ssh to this particular machine to do that i can use uh, my own uh, command line and from my ubuntu i can do ssh uh, as your user at that particular uh, ip address and accept and then provide my password and hit enter and there we go so now i'm locked in to the virtual machine that we just created using uh, an Ansible playbook. Okay, so this is how easy it is to use Ansible and start managing your resources. If you are Ansible fan, use that one. Uh, I'm planning to create some more videos where I'll be having this environment in one virtual machine and then I'll use that virtual machine to manage other virtual machines within Azure. So just uh, keep an eye for some upcoming videos if you if you're interested in Ansible and learning more about it uh, but if you like this video uh, please give me a thumbs up like it uh, subscribe the channel for more exciting videos and leave your valuable comments so that I can make better videos for you in the future thank you for watching have a great day